नमस्ते फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग फ्यू कॉमनली यूज मटेरियल्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट देम एज दीज आर कॉमनली यूज इन मॉडर्न ऑटोमोबाइल्स ऑल्सो आई वुड बी टॉकिंग अबाउट स्टार्टिंग सिस्टम इन दिस लेक्चर सेमी कंडक्टर सेमी कंडक्टर कैन एक्ट एज कंडक्टर एंड इंसुलेटर बोथ सिलीकॉन एस आई एंड जर्मेनियम जी ई आर कॉमन मटीरियल यूज टू मेक सेमी कंडक्टर्स दीज आर यूज इन क्रिस्टलाइन फॉर्म दीज डू नॉट हैव फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन देर फोर दीज कैन नॉट कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट एंड आर इलेक्ट्रिकली इनर्ट इन सेमी कंडक्टर्स ट्रेसेज ऑफ अदर एलिमेंट्स आर एडेड इन केमिस्ट्री इट इज नोन एज डोपिंग दीज एलिमेंट्स दैट आर एडेड आर नोन एज इम्प्योरिटीज सेमी कंडक्टर्स कैन बी एन टाइप और पी टाइप डिपेंडिंग अपॉन नेचर ऑफ इम्प्योरिटी एडेड एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर इन वन ऑफ एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर्स सिलीकॉन एस आई इज डोप्ड विद फॉस्फोरस पी और आर्सेनिक ए एस और एंटीमनी एस बी एज इम्प्योरिटी रेफरिंग टू डायग्राम दैट प्रेजेंट्स एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एन टाइप सेमी कंडक्टर इट हैज सिलीकॉन एस आई विद फॉस्फोरस पी एज इम्प्योरिटी सिलीकॉन एस आई हैज बीन शोन इन ब्लैक कलर वेयर एज फॉस्फोरस पी हैज बीन शोन इन रेड कलर फॉर क्लैरिटी फॉस्फोरस पी हैज फाइव वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड सिलीकॉन एस आई has four valence electrons as shown when a small amount of phosphorus is added to a pure silicon crystal one of the valence electron of phosphorus becomes surplus as shown on upper left side it can move around as a surplus electron or free electron this free electron is attracted to cathode that is a positive electrode and current flows p type semiconductor in one of p type semiconductor silicon si is doped with boron b or indium in as impurity referring to diagram that presents atomic structure of p type semiconductor it has silicon si with boron b as impurity again silicon si has been shown in black color whereas boron b has been shown in red color for clarity boron b has three valence electrons and silicon si has four valence electrons as shown when a small amount of boron is added to a pure silicon crystal valence electron is not available at one position absence of electron creates a sort of hole that has been shown as h on upper side of diagram as voltage is applied electron from neighboring atom moves in this hole this movement creates hole in neighboring atom this causes movement of holes to anode the negative electrode as is known to us atoms lose or gain electrons in conductors in semiconductors there is sharing of outer electron that is free other electrons are tightly held and this makes element stable movement of electrons 
towards cathode and holes towards anode is the principle by which semiconductors carry current semiconductors have no moving part and seldom wear they do not require any adjustment also they are small in size and are reliable they require less power to operate and generate small amount of heat diode this is one of semiconductor devices and is most simple it allows flow of current only in one direction and therefore can act as conductor or insulator both one of the simple application of diode is to convert alternate current ac into direct current dc this is done through process known as rectification these can be light emitting diodes led or zener diode light emitting diodes or led emit light as the name indicates one of very common application of leds is in modern television sets of big size zener diodes are used to regulate voltage in circuit transistor this is yet another semiconductor it is replacing switch and relays in electronic circuit transistor has two variants it can be pnp transistor and npn transistor pnp transistor has two p type semiconductors and one n type semiconductor similarly npn transistor has two n type semiconductors and one p type semiconductor referring to diagram that presents pnp transistor on left side and npn transistor on right side in pnp transistor there are two p type semiconductors shown in red color and one n type semiconductor shown in black color similarly npn transistor on right side has two n type semiconductors shown in black color and one p type semiconductor shown in red color as may be seen transistor has a base collector and emitter base is controlling part of circuit this is used to switch on and off controlled part of circuit collector and emitter make controlled circuit emitter acts as a path to ground for base circuit symbolic representation of both type of transistors have also been shown it has a circle with base as a straight line with emitter and collector connected as shown it may be noticed that arrowhead points towards base in case of pnp transistor and away from base in npn transistor arrowhead indicates direction of flow of current integrated circuit it consists of a large number of electronic components such as diodes transistors capacitors and resistors put together in a circuit in a single piece of semiconductor material another name used for integrated circuit is chip these are becoming smaller day by day and carry large complicated circuits these are commonly used in automobiles maybe you are aware that in recent past automakers are finding it difficult to fulfill their 
production targets it is due to shortage of chips taiwan is main supplier of chips corona virus infection has affected people there significantly this has hampered production of chips multiplexing this wiring system uses bus data link connecting different control modules each module transmits and receives digital code over bus data link in this manner same information is shared with other modules signal from sensor goes to desired module other modules can also use it this eliminates separate wiring from sensors to different modules starting system until few years back it was common to kick start your two wheeler similarly if you see very old movies particularly of charlie chaplin maybe you will find that cars are being started by a cranking rod inserted in a hole on front side of car actually requirement to start engine is that working cycle in engine begins for this there should be suction compression firing working or expansion stroke and finally exhaust it requires movement of piston this is done by cranking in automobile and through kick in two wheeler as piston moves processes begin as mentioned later these continue on their own presently cranking is done through starting system automobiles and other vehicles including two wheelers are started by turning a key in some cars it is done through a push button introduced recently a starting system has following components battery and cables ignition switch safety switch solenoid and starting motor battery and cables as is known it is lead acid battery generally it provides current to starter motor it acts as reservoir of electrical energy it fulfills additional requirement of current if need be cables are wires with multi strand capable of carrying current of 250 amperes or more battery terminals are used to connect battery these and cable joints must be kept clean for proper functioning ignition switch it is a switch used to start or ignite engine it has five key positions these positions are lock off accessory run and start these positions ensure that electric current is being supplied according to requirement in lock position steering wheel is locked and no current is being supplied if a steering wheel applies pressure on locking mechanism it may be difficult to turn key by moving steering wheel a little pressure is removed and key can be turned in off position all circuits are open you can turn steering wheel but cannot remove key when key is in accessory position ignition and starter circuits are open but power is supplied to other circuits it makes you to play radio or operate power windows etc in run position all circuits 
other than starting a circuit are open it is essential so that required current can be supplied to engine in start position current is supplied to starter motor through ignition circuit in this position switch is spring loaded so that current is provided momentarily starter is deactivated as engine starts ignition switch is mounted on steering column for convenience in operation safety switch this switch prevents supply of current to starter circuit if any of the transmission gears are engaged it allows current to starter circuit only when vehicle is in neutral position this prevents sudden jerk in some cars this switch may be connected to clutch pedal it means that current is not supplied to starting circuit if clutch pedal is not pressed this ensures to prevent jerk if there is an attempt to start car when gear is engaged solenoid it is installed in series between battery and starter its function is to supply small amount of current from ignition switch to control flow of high current between battery and starter motor this high current is essential to operate starting motor solenoid has replaced relay that was used earlier starting motor it is an electrical motor used to crank internal combustion engine in an automobile after engine starts it gets disconnected it is mounted on engine's gearbox housing and has a pinion that meshes with external teeth on flywheel to understand constructional details let us refer to diagram that presents starting motor main components of motor are armature commutator brushes plunger shift lever field coils over running clutch and pinion armature mounted on shaft has laminated soft iron core that has a number of windings wrapped around it it is an electromagnetic component commutator shown on left side is on rear side of motor it has brushes running over it to conduct electricity it has several plates that provide connection to windings of armature brushes shown as b in diagram run on commutator electricity is conducted as these rub against commutator plunger shown on upper right side is used to engage pinion it has got a spring as shown on its right side that acts to disengage pinion after engine has started shift lever shown on right side pushes plunger towards left to engage pinion field coils shown as fc in diagram are located on both sides of armature these are connected in series these get input from battery in the form of electric current and create electromagnetic field over running a clutch shown on right side of diagram transmits torque in one direction only in other direction it rotates as free wheel as engine shaft starts rotating it disengages pinion and motion is not transmitted through it 
pinion shown on right side is engaged with engine flywheel as already mentioned flywheel has not been shown in diagram battery that provides necessary electrical energy to motor has been shown in diagram as motor operates motion is transmitted to flywheel this makes possible movement of piston inside the cylinder and processes involved in cycle occur once engine starts these processes continue on their own pinion and gear are disengaged through over running clutch as already mentioned it would be convenient to understand circuit and application of components through a diagram referring to diagram that presents starting system and its components as blocks battery b is shown on left side through starter circuit shown in red color it is connected to solenoid so solenoid so is connected to motor m that is a starter motor motor is provided with pinion p as shown on right side of diagram pinion p meshes with flywheel r that is a part of engine as current flows to motor through solenoid pinion rotates and with it flywheel r rotates pinion rotates at high speed high speed is not required for cranking of engine this high speed is reduced as flywheel is of large diameter motor m is connected to earth terminal as shown this being part of starter circuit is shown in red color solenoid so is connected to battery through safety switch s and ignition switch i it is a part of control circuit shown in blue color solenoid so is connected to earth terminal as shown it is a part of control circuit shown in blue color different components in circuit act as already explained earlier i conclude here thanks for watching